Buenos dias a todos. Good day all and welcome again. Today we are looking at a festival that is coming up, a Hindu festival of Diwali. Here in Trinidad, we are a multicultural society and this is a time where we all celebrate in one way or another. Either we go and see the lights of Diwali or we simply just stay at our homes and we look at our communities as people do different things to celebrate this Hindu festival. As always, girls, don't forget, keep on your masks. If you're going outside, stay practices, stay six feet apart from other people or social distancing. Don't forget to, to wash your hands, front and back, soap and water, and we will be okay. All right, girls, so, we are getting ready for a very exciting time this weekend, the Hindu festival of Diwali. Okay, so let's see what it is we're going to do today. Okay, so I am going to slideshow. All right, so in our art today, we are looking at printing and painting. And a little bit of history, we need to understand where did this Wali come from, how, how that fest, this festival, we here in Trinidad, we celebrated, and a little bit of maths too in our art. Yes, maths, okay? And don't say it's hard, because I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. I just want you to remember that most things in nature have a line of symmetry, right? Symmetry is that line that tells you if I cut this in half, the other half will be the same, all right? So if you look at the arrow, it's exactly the same. As the, the left side is exactly the same as the right side. The ladybug, the left side exactly the same as the right side. The butterfly, the left side, exactly the same as the right. So remember that, huh? Now, many, many years ago, before you and I were born, in 1845, indentured laborers left their home in India to come to work in Trinidad. And they traveled on this ship known as the Fatal Razi, right? This ship carried about 140,000 East Indian immigrants within this period of time, right? And the East Indian immigrants, they came with them. They, they never changed their style of wear, their traditional wear. They came with their jewelry. They came with their local, their cuisines. They came with their knowledge. They came with their music. They came with their religion. And right now, we are experiencing that, right? So around the valley, I'm sure you're seeing, and we here in Trinidad, we all embrace the way they dress. It's not limited to one nationality, um, what they eat, because almost everybody now, I am sure I saw on COVID, everybody could make a, a, a doubles now. We have learned how to do that, right? So it's not limited to the East Indian, but it is from there we learned every, we learned that. Now, V.S. Naipaul, also another son of an East Indian immigrant. You, if you talk to your grandparents, they can also tell you about your great, great grandparents who came from India. What is interesting is to imagine, look at how all these people, 140,000 people traveled from India, check the size of that country, all the way through the Indian Ocean, coming around the Atlantic Ocean to this little dot, you can barely see us, our little island of Trinidad and Tobago. So they left their big home to come to our island to work and have contributed significantly to our country. If you want, it's those of you who like to read The Voyage from Calcutta from Naipaul's biography, if you read this book, it will give you some stories 
Some of you might be able to tell stories from your grandmother who would have known her great grandmother and tell stories about the journey and when they arrived here in Trinidad. So they brought with them the culture of deer, lighting a deer. Now you know that a deer is made from clay, right? Clay. And in it, they would put oil, pour oil inside of it, and a cotton wick, which they would light on the darkest night of the month. Now, Diwali is celebrated either on in October or November. This year is in November. And it is said the day carded for Diwali is the darkest night of the year. All right. Now, remember, I told you all about the symmetry. All right. So the first thing I want you to do, fold your paper portrait and fold it in half. All right. So this here is your line of symmetry. So this here, look your line of symmetry here. This is where the paper opens. You're going to draw your flame and the deer. Now I draw two parts to the flame. There's the inner part here, which I curve down and up and the outer part. And I made the deer, giving it a lip up, swerve around. I gave another layer of the lip and I curved it down to make the deer, all right? Similarly, I just wanted to embellish it, right? I wanted this, I wanted to have little circles. If you want to add more to it, fine, okay? Your design. Now in the design, I want us to use the lotus flower, all right? So you can design, yes, but I want to see the lotus flower as well. So the lotus flower is regarded as a symbol of purity, enlightenment, self-regeneration and rebirth. And right now, girls, we are actually going through that, right? Coming out of this COVID. And what is so nice about, what is significant about this flower, notice how it grows in this dark water. That water is actually dark, dirty, right? But somehow the roots are able to capture the best set of nutrients to give us this beautiful flower. And this, girls, I would like it to be a symbol of us. No matter what, yes, COVID is difficult. We must find some beauty in it all. We must wear a, safe, a, a mask for safe practices, social distancing. But that does not mean that we will not overcome it. We can just obey the rules wash your hands, sanitize, and I think we can get over this. All right? Okay, so we are now doing the lotus flower. So always start with the middle, right? Start here, look at my cursor, and you, do, you make an oval, followed by another oval, followed by the petals and the leaves, all right? Now, that same part, that is done in pencil. Trace over the pencil with pen. It is very important. And when you trace, try and do it a little hard. All right? Because remember I told you, we are doing printing. All right? So the outside will have the pen. Okay? Let's see what happens next. Okay. So again, so I'm showing you here the same thing. It is traced, but then you will get an impression, open it. When you open it, trace it over in crayons. Crayons, yes, I said in crayons. The reason why we are using crayons, I want the crayon for when you close it back and trace it a second time, it will print on this side. Crayons have wax. So whatever is in here, when you fold it back, when you close it back, it's going to print on this side, okay? All right, so here we go. So you see how it printed? We closed it and printed. This is the same thing we did before, right? So when you closed it, you would have seen your marker drawing. Your marker drawing, you trace hard on it. And then when you open it, you will get the printed work, okay? You will again trace over in crayons. Right, so now you will get your complete image. 
Now we are going to paint. Now girls, when we are painting, thumb rule, every color that you use, wash the brush out. Make sure the water is clean. If the water gets dirty, you can change the water because you want brilliant colors coming out. All right? Remember too, it's a line of symmetry. So the left half must look like the right half. See how I got it perfect? All right. And there we have the perfect image. All right. It's finished. Our dear. And let me show you my own. So oh, behind me, we have the standard ones. They did it as well. Let me turn my head there. You will see it there. All right. And at standard two, you are doing this. So let me just close it to give you an, a visual. So here, right, is where I did it. And notice too how I utilize my page. It's a big drawing, right? So I have my, my markers here. When I press hard on it, I would have been able to trace it over with a crayon. I will have to close it back again, trace on this part. So I'll get this side and trace again with my crayons, right? Now I'm able to paint it. Okay, see how large it is? All right, girls. So I hope you will, uh, you will enjoy this exercise. Um, I hope you would have seen how symmetry plays a very important part in our art. I hope you also had an appreciation, a little more appreciation for Diwali. Understand that from all the way, halfway around the world, India, these people came and these people are part of your family, your great, great grandmother, great, great grandfather. They came with their knowledge, with their culture, with their, um, with their styles and they brought it here and it infused here into Trinidad. And this, what, this is what makes Trinidad such a beautiful island, so diverse, right? So girls, I hope you enjoy your Diwali. If you are going out to see the lights of Diwali, the deers, the row of lights, don't forget, put on your mask, right? If you're going in anywhere, wash your hands, make sure and wash your hands properly and social distancing in order. Adios.